Today I shall talk about my first ever VO2 Max test. Hey guys, so before I start this video, I hope you guys can subscribe, uh, like and ring the notification bell so that uh, to encourage me on this running journey and you will not miss out anything. Today I'm recording this video at my office which I rarely does and very nice decoration at the back. Uh. <laughs> so some of you guys might know right, I'm undergoing a running strength research at the Singapore Sports Institute and part of the research involved measuring my VO2 max. So what is VO2 max you may wonder. So VO2 max is the maximum rate of oxygen consumption measured during incremental exercise that is exercise of increasing intensity. It can give you important insights about your cardiorespiratory fitness <laughs> such as how long you can sustain a certain intensity of exercise. So our uh, SSI, right, they provide me the metaphor of a car fuel tank just like uh, the VO2 max is equivalent, it's just like the capacity of a fuel tank of a car. So the bigger your capacity, the further that you can go. Interesting to note, right, uh, a lot of watches are uh, like mine, uh, Garmin also measure VO2 max as well. But from what I gather online, right, it is actually not really accurate. Amazingly, right, my Garmin watch say my VO2 max is 52, which is uh, quite spectacular for my age. I don't know how true is that. To be able to get a really uh, accurate measurement of the VO2 max, right, normally this type of test need to be conducted in a lab, normally surrounded by really costly, uh, I would say, uh, clinical equipment, which is normally not really accessible to casual runner like us. That is the reason why these type of tests are normally reserved for professional athletes and the elites. So thanks to the research by the Singapore Sports Institute, I have the chance to measure my true VO2 max and uh, for setting up the wonderful test equipment and the staff and personnel for being so pro professional, giving, giving me a really clear explanation what this test is all about and more importantly conducted this test in a very very safe environment. First I was asked to do some warm up on the treadmill together with all the masks, the nose clipper to make sure I breathe through my mouth and all the tube everything so that I get used to it uh, while running and breathing through my mouth <laughs> on the treadmill. They explained to me right that the in intensity of the run will increase uh, from the first set to the second set and finally to the last set where the intensity will be the fastest until I reach my maximum that I will need to give a thumbs down to signal that I really cannot run anymore. So it is the part where I reach that plateau when my body moves to aerobic metabolism to anaerobic metabolism that is when my body stops using oxygen to fuel the breakdown of carbohydrate, amino acids and fats because there isn't oxygen anymore. First I have to prick my finger for some blood before the workout and it will be taken again twice at various rest intervals. So before I start the actual test, right, I of course need to wear a mask and heart rate monitor and the mask is connected to a machine that collects and measures the volume of oxygen that I inhale and the amount of air I exhale. And I then slowly increase exercise intensity on the treadmill where it gets faster until my oxygen consumption remains steady despite an increase in intensity. Uh, so during rest intervals, I get to drink some water to replenish myself. Okay, just keep walking. So finally the test is done! After I had a short rest and regained my composure, so Danny brought me aside to explain to me my result. So this is his take. The highest that you hit was 44.9. Mm. Mm. Um, and how do we normally see mm. what was the important thing mm. uh, to see whether you really hit your max or not? Mm. There are a few criteria. Okay. One is of course um, no matter how high you go, okay. the value doesn't change much. Okay. So actually, you see the, the value is actually still uh, changing quite a lot. Okay. Right? So that means um, you can probably go higher there. Okay. Yeah. So there you go, I finally get my true VO2 max which is 44.9. As you can see, uh, there's a big difference between my watch VO2 max which is 52 as compared to my true VO2 max according to this test which is 44.9. So in a way, right, Danny explained to me, right, if my VO2 max doesn't change much at my highest intensity, right, this likely means I already hit the ceiling and thankfully, right, it's still fluctuating quite a bit uh, during my highest intensity, right. This shows that I still have a bit of potential to go even, even faster. And that is really music to my ears. Uh. <laughs> so after the test, I also went online to research more about VO2 max. Uh. That's when I come across this particular VO2 max table. You mentioned that for my age group and my highest VO2 max of 44.9, I am considered close to excellent and to become superior, I will need to hit 
49.4 and above. So although my VO2 max is not at the elite level, right? Danny explained to me why I am able to run faster than most average people. What allows you to mm. be able to continue running at mm. high speed is yeah. probably because uh, it could be your running efficiency, it could be your strength mm. level, mm. Uh, it could be your body's ability to uh, buffer the hydrogen ion. I see. These are some of the other factors that okay. can affect your running performance. According to him, there are also running champions with lower VO2 max than their competitors. So this in a way means that VO2 max is not everything in terms of endurance, in terms of speed, in terms of uh, running times. So it's not everything. One other question I'm also curious about is VO2 max fixed forever. Um, am I able to increase it? And the wonderful answer is yes, it can be increased with consistent and disciplined training but it really needs a lot of work. So I shall continue to work hard to ensure that I'm able to maintain or increase my VO2 max as I continue to age. So once again, thanks to Danny and his SSI colleagues for giving me the chance to take my true VO2 max test. Remember, if you like this video, remember to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and also you can follow me at my social media account. So remember to run safe and keep on running.